I'm Noel Cabangon. Uh, I'm currently a member of the uh, Board of Trustees of FISCAP. I sit in several uh, committees of, of the uh, organization. Uh, I used to head FISCAP for six years, from 2011 to 2016. I used to be the president of FISCAP. And then uh, I was a member since 2000. 2001, I think, or 2000. 2000. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Uh, Phil's Cup started in 1965. So it was during my my term when we celebrated the 50th year. And that was in 2015. And uh, it started with uh, composers like uh, uh, Hernan Cuenco, Hindi ko nakilala yung ibang mga matatanda ng mga composers. Philscap is, uh, is an organization of Filipino composers. We all know that Filipino composers have uh, copyrighted music and uh, are, are being used in restaurants, used on against, uh, films, uh, being uh, played on, on radio, uh, on television so to be able to uh, enforce the right of every composer that, that is due to the composer uh, Philscap was established Well, uh, sadly, the consumption of music in the Philippines is still foreign. It's still being dominated by foreign music. The, I think the ratio is 75-25. Uh, 75% foreign and 25% uh, local. It's a bit of a Uh, during my time uh, as, as the president, we we had a, uh, a music summit. The purpose of the summit was to really define and uh, look at the uh, the uh, state of Filipino music and the music industry. To be able to promote uh, Filipino music, homegrown Filipino music, and at the same time for Filipinos to really consume more <laughs> Filipino music. So we, we looked at it from uh, perspective as a, uh, as a cultural uh, you know, expression and at the same time it, it's an art that defines our identity and uh, the other side is uh, its economic contribution to the country. So, dalawa yung thing na you know. So when, when, when a music is used, because we also have a digital monitoring system, pag yung mga kanta ay naka-encode, alam mo yun, uh, may metadata. Pag pinutugtog, monitor na kaagad, alam na kung sino. Sino yung, ano yung kanta, ano yung, ano yung composer, sino yung publisher. So in terms of distribution, it's easier. Sometimes you don't need any more the record labels. You don't need any more a third party to for you to be able to release a song and put it on Spotify, on YouTube, on other music platforms. You cannot go straight to that, to those platforms. You can also record your own and produce your own song at home or you know and without being bothered by a third party. But it's also very challenging. Kasi parang lumakilalo yung playing field. No? Much, as, much as there's a lot of opportunity, there's also a lot of challenge.
the thing that really gives us the authority that gives Philz Cup the authority to to uh, enforce the rights of uh, the Filipino composers it's its members mm-hmm. uh, are the given are the given laws are written in 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 the intellectual property code uh, right now Philz Cup has more than 1000 uh, 200 members and growing Philz Cup does not only Uh, enforce the rights of the composers, but also provides assistance, like financial assistance to, to every member. Medical, funeral, calamity assistance, mga ganon. So medyo nag-evolve na, nag-improve na mula doon sa kanyang inception uh, establishment uh, 50 years ago. 